So maybe you're considering being a statistics major or maybe you're already a statistics major and you're not really sure where to start. But I wanna tell you the reasons why I decided to become a stats major in college. Um, because I think that understanding somebody else's story can really help you along your own journey. The story starts with me going into college as a nursing major. And I went into college as a nursing major just because it was kind of advice from my parents. I thought maybe I would like it and I know that with the path that I wanted to go down that I could make a lot of money. Now I know this is kind of a naive approach but that's just kind of what I went through when I first went into college. So after my first semester I took a couple anatomy classes, I took a couple nursing classes um, and it was kind of through one of the nursing classes where we were talking about the challenges in nursing that nurses face, talking about long hours, stressful working conditions. And I realized maybe that's, that's not for me. So then I was kind of at a loss of where to go and what to do next. So I just kind of went with what my gut was telling me at the time and that was information systems management. And that's because I took an MIS class in college uh, at the time and it was kind of interesting. I was like, well, I can work with tech. I like tech, I like working with computers. I don't know, maybe that'll help me. Um, so I took that for the next semester and that concludes my first year. But even after that, I was still feeling like, this really isn't for me. Like, I, I can't do this uh, for my life. But, and so after taking M the MIS classes, I realized, mm, I don't know, there's more. There's more that I want besides this. Um, it wasn't that I didn't enjoy this. I liked it more than nursing and I could actually see myself in a career uh, geared towards MIS, but still it wasn't everything I was looking for um, but I also took calc 1 during this semester and when I took calc 1 I kind of fell in love with math which was really weird at the time because up until then I always told myself that I hated math but I took calc 1 because it was required as an MIS major and I realized I really enjoyed math so again I switched my major going into my second year and now I was a math major and I was looking into some career options and stuff I was thinking well, an actuary sounds like a good career. I was told by a math teacher in high school that an actuary would be a great career. So I'm like, all right, I'll major in math. I'll take the actuarial exams. I'll take some business classes on the side and I'll be good. I'll be an actuary and I'll make a lot of money and I'll enjoy it. But unfortunately at the campus that I was at, there wasn't a lot of classes geared towards being an actuary. So my thought was instead of doing math, I'll do statistics. And there's an option at the university that I was gonna be going to that you can do statistics with a focus on actuarial science. So that's what I went for. And then I took my first actuarial class and it was probably the most boring class that I've ever taken. So you might be thinking, you really just couldn't make up your mind. And that's not what it was. It was that I knew what the skills were that I wanted to use in my job. I just didn't know which job would best suit that because during the time I, I realized that the statistics classes were actually what I liked a lot more than any of the other stuff I was doing. Like learning how to fit regression models and do ANOVA tests and like being able to kind of predict the future based on past data, I thought was so cool. I felt like a, a wizard or something, I don't know. But let me know down in the comments if you've ever felt like you've been in a situation like this where you weren't really sure exactly what it was you wanted to do, but you had kind of the idea in the back of your mind. Because that's exactly how it was for me. So I just continued with these statistics classes and I stayed in the actuarial science focused one. Um, but then I was like, well, if I'm not gonna do actuarial science right now, I can at least consider doing it in the future with a statistics degree. I don't have to take all these actuarial science classes. So I switched my major again to the, what I'm currently majoring in, which is applied statistics. Now with applied statistics, you had to pick a focus. My focus was again, information systems. So like IT support, uh, working with data, working with Excel, uh, working with various softwares that you're gonna be like transferring data over from one server to another server, things like that. And then finally, that's kind of what felt right to me. So I was able to do something that I really enjoyed. I got into a major that I really enjoyed. And ultimately that's what helped me get, you know, internships and job experience was that I love statistics and then I could use that in so many different areas. Um, and I think that's the important thing when you're going for a major is if you can't decide on what you're gonna do, it's okay. Just go for something that you have a general idea of and try to get a breadth of knowledge in different courses, take different courses. And when you take these different courses, really take them seriously and consider how you can use these things in the future. Now you might take a specific course that you really enjoy that's just really not applicable. It's okay to enjoy that on the side of your college experience, but I don't think you should choose to major in it. This is where I see a lot of issues with people I know, um, this is my opinion, but they'll major in something because they really enjoy it, but it's not really what they wanna 
do a career in. It's really not where they want to make their money from because then it takes the enjoyment out of that activity. Um, for me, that's not what statistics is. When I'm done with my job and done with school, I don't focus solely on statistics. I mean, I do make a YouTube channel about statistics, but that's just because I think it's a very useful skill that not a lot of people uh, utilize. And so through this experience, I got to learn a lot of new technology that I had never learned before and that I think is going to be super valuable in the job market in the future. So things like R, Python, data analysis, data science skills, machine learning, working with Excel, working with Tableau, those are skills that can be directly applied to a real job that's going to pay pretty good. Um, and having the statistics knowledge behind all of that makes it even that much better because when you're fitting these models and stuff, you can actually have an understanding and explain it to somebody who doesn't understand that which is super, super valuable for a company to have because almost every single company that you can think of right now uses these t trends and topics and statistics without even realizing it, but there, there are people behind the scenes, data scientists and data analysts who are fitting these models and presenting to their stakeholders and their managers on what direction the company should go because that's the data-driven decision. And so for me, it ended very well. I have a great internship, which was extended through my last semester of school, which I'm in right now and it's looking like I might get a job offer. So if you have any questions about my experience or the path that I want on, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Also, if you want some additional help on your path, go ahead and check the link in the description because I have my Discord linked in there. Um, you can ask anything. There's a bunch of different statistics majors in there and people who are just generally interested in statistics. So go check that out and be sure to join up.